Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be uh, really quickly diving into some of these functions available from the Tableau API lib library that make it easier for you to just query uh, simple information from your site such as what are the projects that exist on my site, who are the users who are on my site, which groups are here, which schedules, which subscriptions, which views, workbooks, data sources, flows. Uh, a lot of these basic things that kind of cover maybe you know 80% of the, the content related um, what is on my site type questions. There, a lot of this groundwork is available to you directly from the Tableau API Lib Library. Um, and as well as um, you know, all these endpoints here, the, the library really strives to mirror each one of these. So you know you see the create group endpoint here, you have a uh, create group method in the Tableau API Lib Library. Um, and so this is kind of the lower level. The library gives you uh, access to all these endpoints and you can uh, have really granular control over how they behave like even looking at this um, get users on site endpoint, you can see there are all these different ways you can customize the, uh, the requests that you send to the server with URL parameters and such, and pagination. So you can really, you have a, the ability to customize all of this if you want, but let's just say you want a simple data dump of all the users on your site, or you just wanna know what workbooks are there and who are the owners, you don't really need to mess with all this. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. And so that's what we're going to do here in this Blitz tutorial. Uh, I'm going to drop all the explanations at this point and just kind of run through how you can get this information out of your site. If you want to hear my voice for 15 minutes go on about this, then check out the more detailed video, which will be published a couple days after we put this one up, and it will be linked in the description. And uh, if you want to know what's happening here, uh, check out the Getting Started tutorial video. That's also linked in the description. Um, suffice to say that we are importing uh, the core functionality of Tableau API Lib. We, we're going to be able to connect to our Tableau online site, and then we're also going to import these useful querying functions, as, as well as this flatten dict column function, which will allow us to get at uh, nested information. So let's just run these cells, make sure we do that. And then uh, we're going to establish our connection. And let's dive right into seeing this in action. So for starters, if you were just hitting endpoints directly, uh, your, the data you would get back would look like this, where the server has given us um, you know, basically this JSON data. And it's up to us to paginate through the results. It's up to us to parse the information we want out of it. So you could do that, or you could just use the querying section of the library, which is going to pack all of that data for you nicely into a pandas data frame. And um, you get all the fields available to you. Like you might notice if we look up here, there's no full name or email address listed in, these e in this user information. I mean, technically this is an email address, but it's just because on Tableau Online, your username is an email address. But down here, we see we get an email column. So there is some stuff happening behind the scenes here where using these querying functions can sometimes get you uh, more information with less effort. So the same thing goes for groups. We can run uh, this data and get our groups. Um, you can also get group users. So if we pass in a specific group ID to this function, then we're going to get a list of all the users who belong to that group. Uh, similarly, but kind of the mirror of that, is if you have a user, you could find out which groups they belong to. So in this case, we pass in a user ID, and then we get the uh, all the groups that that user belongs to. And for your projects, you can also get a list of all the projects that exist on your site, or I guess a to put that correctly, you get a data frame, a pandas data frame with rows and columns uh, showing you all of the projects on your site and some details about them. Uh, same goes for workbooks. So now we're getting into this content and something that's, uh, that's going to be 
important a lot of times is cracking into some of this nested information. So at the end here, we'll take a look at how we could peek inside of owner and get at that email address and that full name, even though it's in a nested column. And so just as we can query workbooks, we can also query views. So get views data frame does this for us. And this is going to give us uh, also some, some nice information in here. So we could see the uh, actual sheet type. So maybe you publish workbooks to your site and some of those are dashboards, some of those are worksheets. The dashboards will show up as sheet type dashboard. The sheets will show up as view. And so moving right along, uh, you can also get information about your data sources, much like we've got information about our workbooks and our views. You can query the flows on your site. We can query subscriptions. So this is going to be each individual subscription that exists. So you can see the, um, the user ID here. So this isn't just all the different varieties of subscriptions. This is literally every subscription that exists. So you could delete a subscription for a specific user. Uh, and then for schedules, you know, if we're talking about subscriptions, maybe you are adding a new subscription and you would like to know which schedules you could use to run that subscription on. You could query your schedules and then you have a type here. Uh, are you looking at schedules for subscriptions or for extracts? So that kind of brings us to the end of the demonstration of those querying functions. And if we want to take a look at how you could put this to work. We have a little use case here of where we uh, filter our schedules to say, what if I only care about subscriptions? Well, you could easily, because it's in a pandas data frame, say, give me my schedules data frame, but only where the type is subscription. And another use case down here of uh, maybe you want to know uh, which Tableau developers on your site own the most uh, dashboards. So then we could just take our views data frame and we could say, give me only sheet types that are dashboards. And then you could flatten the owner column where we want to extract the email key and the full name key. And uh, it's gonna look a lot like, for example, this project column here. This is a nested object. Earlier we saw that there was an owner column and the owner column had full name and email. Uh, nested within it so we can just flatten that data and um, that's going to give us something that looks like this where we have now as a column the owner email and the owner full name unpacked from that nested column and now that we have that available to us we could just because uh, this isn't a pandas data frame run this group by where we get to see uh, the size, like once we've grouped by name and email, um, how many of those dashboards showed up for each of these um, full name and email combinations. So we can see that this is the user who owns the most dashboards. All right, that's it for this video. And uh, there is a more detailed one that just has more long-winded explanations of each step along the way. So check that out if you want to know all the details. Otherwise, I hope that uh, these querying functions come in handy for you. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in future videos.